Once, in the ancient Shaolin Temple, located high in the Misty Mountains, there was a man whose tough life showed on his worn-out face. His clothes were in tatters, and hunger gnawed at his stomach as he sat down on the sacred temple steps. These steps were reserved for only a chosen few, a place for peace and enlightenment. But this man was not an ordinary traveler. Once he had been a Shaolin monk, someone skilled in martial arts and the keeper of the temple's well-protected secrets. However, life took him down an unexpected path, and he decided to leave the temple behind, turning away from its deep teachings. His actions were a major turning point in his life. He shared the temple's secret wisdom with humble farmers, inspiring them to become warriors. But this hopeful path led to a tragic rebellion, where many of them lost their lives. Now he sat outside the temple, weighed down by guilt. The temple, a symbol of wisdom and strength, witnessed his sorrowful tale. It was a story of secrets betrayed, choices that had consequences, and lives sacrificed in the pursuit of freedom. The master of the temple approached the man with a bowl of rice and a blanket, and offered it to him. The famished man, driven by hunger, accepted the bowl of rice and started to eat. The master gracefully bowed and returned to the temple. A young monk, who had been observing this from a short distance, approached the master and asked, Master, he betrayed us, yet we feed and clothe him. The master inquired, And do you disapprove? The young monk responded, It is said he swore an oath as one of us never to reveal our secrets. It is said that when he left us, he taught farmers to be soldiers and led them to their deaths in a foolish rebellion. The master replied, I am aware of his questionable actions. I am also aware of his hunger and cold. But master, the young monk persisted, Will not food and new clothing Strengthen him to go out and cause more suffering? The master explained, It may. But when he leaves us in the morning, will the earth fall away from under his feet? Will the sun, shining on all else, withhold light and warmth from him? Will water turn to mud when he stops to drink? If sun and earth and water refrain from judgment, who am I to withhold a blanket and a bowl of rice? The young monk, who had questioned his master's decision to help the repentant man, found himself deeply affected by the wisdom of his mentor's response. He had learned an invaluable lesson about compassion, forgiveness, and the potential for redemption. As the night cast its shadow over the Shaolin Temple, the man, now clothed and nourished, found a corner to rest and reflect. He contemplated the master's compassionate gesture which had kindled a spark of remorse within him. The weight of his past actions bore heavily on his conscience. Over time, he visited the families of the farmers who had lost their lives, bringing solace and assistance to those who had suffered. The man's remorse deepened as he witnessed the profound grief etched in their faces. He yearned to make amends for the pain he had caused. The temple's compassion and its unwavering commitment to balance and wisdom made a lasting impact on the man. With the support and guidance of the Shaolin Temple, he embarked on a transformative journey of redemption. The skills he had once misused were now wielded to protect and defend, and his actions evolved from betrayal to compassion. Upon his return to the Shaolin Temple, he had become a different man, devoted to the pursuit of inner peace, enlightenment, and the betterment of all. His story became a legend, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the profound teachings of martial arts, illustrating the enduring power of forgiveness and the transformative nature of redemption. The Shaolin Temple stood as a symbol of hope, where even those who had strayed from the path could find their way back to righteousness. The Master's words in this story remind us of something important. Being kind, forgiving, and understanding can make a big difference in people's lives. Just as the sun continues to shine, the earth remains steady and water flows without judgment. We too have the capacity to show empathy and understanding to those who have gone down the wrong path. 
The Master's wisdom teaches us not to judge or hold grudges against others. Instead, be open to the idea that people can change for the better. In the end, remember that in a world filled with imperfections and wrong turns, it's our capacity for forgiveness, kindness, and understanding that holds the power to shape our lives and the lives of others. Just as the sun rises each day, giving us a chance to start anew, and the earth beneath us offers stability, and the waters of life keep flowing, we too have the ability to bring about positive change. By extending a hand of compassion and offering second chances, we pave the way for transformation and healing, both for ourselves and those we encounter on our journey. This is Dharma Stories. Thank you for watching.